Hi guys, welcome to your first asynchronous class. I don't know if there's going to be more, but there probably will be at some point. Uh, today I just want to go over the agenda, what you're doing, the future, all the good stuff. So for today, we're going to focus on cellular respiration. I know your notes were a doozy. You don't have to complain. I know they were long and they were quite technical and pretty challenging. And so this class is strictly just like more practice with cellular respiration. I'm sorry there's not a more fun way to do this, but cellular respiration is just like not a fun topic. It's just like you got to learn it and you learn it through memorization and you learn it through continuously practicing with the words and the vocab and the process between all of the steps. So that's pretty much what today is going to be. Uh, there's a three part assignment in classroom that I'm going to go over in a second. Before I do that, I just want to quickly go through uh, the next couple of weeks with you so you are aware that you have a test coming up. So today is all about cellular respiration. Next class is all about fermentation. Fermentation is anaerobic cellular respiration. And the most obvious ways that we do anaerobic respiration is through food and drink. Two of the main drinks are beer and wine. So yes, we are going to be learning about beer and wine and how to make it. We are not going to be making it, of course, because you are all sweet little angels that probably have never even seen beer or wine before in your life, if I had to make a guess. Um, and then we're going to learn about cheese and yogurt and yeast and bacteria and all that good stuff. The following week, we're going to do a digital lab. Um, I'm going to be showing you different ways to make bread. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of bread in my kitchen and record myself. So uh, yeah, I guess you guys get to see a little bit more of my house, see my kitchen, see me cooking, Food Network, watch out. Um, and then the end of next week, we're going to have a review day, which can only mean one thing. On October 6th, well, for you guys, it'll be October 7th. October 7th is going to be your unit one test. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Your unit one test is basically everything we will have done up until then. There's going to be a study guide provided. I will probably post the study guide on Friday, so I can go over a little bit with you, but just FYI, unit one test coming up. Okay, now, for today, you have, this is my third period, so sorry, I'm recording this on Tuesday, not Wednesday. So for today, you have your aerobic cellular respiration review. There are four items within this. One of them is just a PDF, and then the rest of them are actual assignments that you have to do. So just quickly going through it, the PDF is like a stations activity. So each page is a station and you're just going to like read quickly the station and then answer the questions. The questions that go with it are called cellular respiration stations student handout. And there's not a lot of questions per station, but just be aware that there are questions for every station. So station one, two, three, and some of them are combined, right? Stations four and five. So just be aware that sometimes your questions uh, span over two of the PDF pages. Sometimes it's only one. So just be thoughtful in your, when you're going through this. Once you finish the stations handout, the next piece is uh, a video and questions. It's all the same information. I'm just hoping that throwing it all at you in different mediums like stations, notes, a video, a concept map is just going to help you remember it. So this is a crash course uh, video. I know that he talks fast in crash course videos. You can always slow it down or you can look at the transcript to try and get this information. Okay, so the video and then finally, I'm just going to... Uh, Make this a little bit bigger. Finally is a concept map or a graphic organizer. So basically what this is, is all of these blanks in here, all of these words match up to that. So once you find the word that goes with it, just literally click it and drag it to where it goes, this is not the correct answer. Nothing takes place in the lactic acid. That doesn't make sense. But 
This is not the right answer here, but it's literally like a drag and drop. It's just a big drag and drop. So pretty straightforward. This should be the last thing you do because this is like a really good summary of everything. And if you can get all of this right, then you kind of understand uh, the main steps and the main, like main, main takeaways of cellular respiration. Okay, so that's for today. All of this is going to be due uh, at the end of the day on Friday. So you have Wednesday, which is to the day that you're listening to this video, uh, to work on this. And then we're not going to work on it in class, but you can work on it after class on Friday or whenever you have free time. It will be due Friday evening. Okay, if you need me, you can email me. I will be around. I will be uh, grading, most likely. So if you need me, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you on Friday.